Live from Fox 5 News, Good Day Atlanta at 8 a.m. starts now. And welcome back at 823 all week. We've been sharing with you great ways to get organized from the garage to the kitchen to the kids room and home office. But today we take a look at a place where it's sometimes kind of scary to take a look. Organizing those closets we're talking about, though. Never fear, though. Laura Ray from OrganizeAtlanta.com is here to help. Laura, I know I'm glad you're here because the closet just seems to be one of those places where, oh, where do I put it? We'll just shove it in there, right? Yes, and the closet is a great place to start your day or it could be a chaotic place to start your day. So, but getting organized can help set the tone. Well, I know you've got five tips. I may yes. need 10 tips, but we'll, we'll talk about these five right now. First one is to get everything off the floor. Why is that so yes. important? Yes, so well, if you're trying to get control of your closet and you, and, and you can't even get into your closet, <laughs> it'll be nice to clear everything out and find a home for things. So one of the things you can use is an over the door shoe holder mm -hmm. and it actually keeps the shoes together so you're not searching for the mate to your shoe. Well, that kind of is a nice segue into your second tip, which really is to find homes for yes. everything. And I know for me, ties are an issue, and I know the old baseball caps. I got stacks of them on top of a shelf, and if I want to go one off the bottom, it's it's a nightmare. Yes, well, we have solutions for that. We have a belt and tie holder, and then this is a cap rack. It is great for men's large collection of caps, and it actually goes over the door, or you can hook it onto the wall. I've got some of those stacks I probably haven't worn in years because I just don't even know they're there anymore. All right, double your hanging space with an expandable closet rod. I don't even know what that is. Yes, this is right here. It's, this is actually called a doublet, and it's from the container store. And you can put your shirts on top and your pants on the bottom and instantly doubles your storage space for under $20. That's and amazing. The other thing you can use are these slimline hangers. Mm -hmm. And so there's, there's many different brands, but it's kind of the latest trend. It saves a few inches, but when you have a small closet, um, every little inch helps. We live in an older home, and back in when they built homes in the 50s, they weren't thinking about closet space. Our closets are so small, so yes. we'll definitely take advantage of some of those. Gather folded clothes, clothing into bins. Those yes. are very important, aren't they? Yes, and I brought one bin today. This is my favorite bin to use in closets. It's called a deep sweater bin from the mm -hmm. container store, and I use it for out of season clothing. It holds a lot, but you can get it over your head up into the top of your closet. And I've got summer on one side and then winter on the other side. So you can oh, just flip it go. around and uh, put have in your bin. seasonal clothing. Yes. That's smart too. And how about drawer? This right here, keeping the drawers uh, divided, organizing yes, inside it, the actual drawer. It's a spring-loaded divider that just fits right inside the drawer to separate your items. All right, I think we got some uh, some before and after photos of yes. some of your handiwork. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. First thing we want to take a look at is a master closet. There yes, we go. Tell this us is what a we're woman's seeing. woman's master closet, and she just had one wire closet rod and not enough hanging space. So what we did, we bought a closet. Closet made solution from mm -hmm. the Home Depot for under $100. We achieved the photo on the right, which is more hanging space, more shelf space. And then up at the top of her closet are four deep sweater boxes that we were just talking about for her out of season clothing. So there's actually more stuff in the closet on the right even though it looks less crowded. Correct? Yes, exactly. How about uh, an accessories closet? We have a before and after here. Yes, Look at all those shoes. This is a woman's wow. dream, shoes and purses. <laughs> this client had a spare closet. We turned it into her dream. We bought cut wire shelving from the Home Depot. We measured her shoes uh, to see how many, how many uh, racks we would need, and we got it all in there. All right, I don't have any teenagers yet, but I, I, I guess I will one day. So let's, let's talk about the teenager's closet, which you know is a place where things can pile up. Yes, they can. So obviously she didn't have enough to hanging space, so the photo on the right, we used the doublet, which is the product that we just showed. And we also, that big comforter that's in the front, that, that made it onto the shelf above the clothes. So get it out of the way. And the teen was very, very happy. All right, you've inspired me this morning. You know what my favorite thing is? This one right here. Ah, uh, the doublet. I think I'll be purchasing some of these. All right, thank you Great. very much, Laura. We appreciate thank it. Good you. advice. As always, now, if you couldn't keep up with us this morning, you can find all of Laura Ray's tips and tips from our other or Get Organized guests this week on our website. Just go to myfoxatlanta.com and look for Get Organized under the Good Day tab. We're all going to be so organized coming up. That's great, especially for spring cleaning, right? Your time.